Hi, Mickey. Hello. So, how are you? I'm doing okay. <laughs> so, Allison didn't know that Daddy had bees. Do you know yes, anything about that? Yes, he had bees, yes. And uh, I didn't speak with Daddy like a lot because he was high strung a lot of times. He'd get home from work and he'd go lie down. Oh. And then later, and sometimes he would get laid back and he would be really nice to me. We'd talk. Yeah. But the bees, some man showed up one day. Yeah. He was an old geezer. Yeah. Had glasses and a pickup truck. And he pulls up and he says, I'm a friend of your dad's. I'm going to move the queen for him. So I stood there and he put on the whole bee suit. Yeah. You know, the whole beekeeper, the whole outfit, and I'm standing there with nothing. Yeah. So I said, well, I guess I better get away. He said, no, you're fine. He said, as long as I've got the queen, those bees will not do anything. And he sprayed something on me, and all 10 pounds of bees landed on me. No. Yeah. I wore the suit of bees. Oh. And I couldn't see. I could feel the heaviness. They didn't bite you? They didn't bite me. And I could hear them buzzing. Yeah. Really loud. And I'm standing there like this. How old were you? I was trying to figure that out because Johnny doesn't remember the bees and you don't. So it's probably right when you and Johnny moved out. Yeah. He went to college. And I got married. You got married. Yeah. What year? 68? I got married in 68. So we're thinking maybe around 68. Yeah. But uh, years later, uh, I was talking to him and I asked him about who that man was. And he said, what man? <gasps> I said, some man came here and said he was moving your queen. And Daddy said, no. I thought the hive died out. So what it was is this old geezer came and stole the hive. He stole, what a creep. <laughs> he was his old geezer. And he knew Daddy had, how many bees did Daddy have? He had one box. One box? You know, with the, the shell. Yeah. yeah, however, they're, I don't, I'm not oh, much. But Daddy was always doing stuff out in the yard. and. Yeah. He had his his birds used to come up on the back porch and when he went out by back. Yeah. I figure I'm going to do that whenever I get old and retired. I'm going to start. Con what's that word when you talk to nature? It starts with a come. Uh, nuts. Yeah. <laughs> or or you mean com communicating? Yes, with, with yeah. nature. Okay. Yeah. So I'll talk to the birds and the whatever else. And I heard on NPR yesterday that you don't need to go to a big place. You can have nature in your backyard in an empty lot and look at everything, the little caterpillars. Yeah, and well, the animals will get used to you, you know. And yeah. I've got a million birds in the front yard because okay. I feed them. But it, well, anyway, I told Allison she needs to get bees so she can make... Pollinating the plants that she wants to grow. And then with the, the goat cheese and make goat cheese with honey. Right, with the right. bees. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Yeah. Uh, You've been watching her goat farm on? Yeah, every time I see it, I put a like. So it, I don't understand Facebook, so yeah. I put likes because I feel like it keeps a, a lifeline. <laughs> you know? And if I don't like stuff, it'll go away. So. <laughs> yeah, like I've shared her grateful, what's it called? Grateful farm? Anyway, I've shared it with everybody on my Facebook. Oh, okay. so. And people at work, Allison, how do you make it go this way? Let's see. Anyway, people at work said they're, they're going to start coming to your farm because they go to farms up in Georgia that are farther away than where yours is for goat oh. cheese. So anyway. And you can come talk on our PBS, on our NPR channel sometime about your goat farm. So anyway. That's all. Checking out here. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.